Welcome to my YouTube channel Elliot Fish Principal. If you are an interester, investor of gold and silver and you are, if you are interested in gold and silver miners, today's video is a must see video. In today's video I'm going to discuss gold and silver, the commodities themselves. We'll look at GDX, after that we'll look at Newmont Corporation, Metalla Royal Royalty and Vidyan Precious Metals. Each single one of them, for example, GDX, Newmont, Metalla, Wheaton, each one single one of them is going through their own wave patterns, wave analysis, and that's why we need to pay separate attention to each and single one of them. Gold is doing its own analysis, its own labeling, uh, and silver is going on through its own cycle, so it's very uh, essential. Now, in whenever we create, whenever we have created the bottom in gold and silver, how every single one of them is going to react is also an important factor, which is going to help us uh, investigate. Which we are going to uh, investigate in today's video how every single one of them is going to react once we have created the bottom in gold and silver, and which one has more chances of a stronger bounce than the other one so we're gonna this is we're gonna answer trying to answer that very important question that which one is going to basically outdo the other one all right so in today's video if you are interested in any of these questions the director of gold the direction of gold and silver trend the longer term direction of gold and silver trend if you are interested in the shorter smaller move this is also an important video and if you are interested uh, in seeing the miners on the whole itself, the ETF itself, which is GDX, or if you want to see Newmont, Metella, or Wheaton, then today's video is very important for us. It's going to allow you to uh, see future on a longer term frame, and you can plan your gold and silver. I understand that at the moment, a lot of gold and silver uh, people bought gold and silver right at the top, and they're right now kicking down cell that what did they do? So we're trying to answer those questions. Let's see what happened. We will start with gold. And once again, every single one of them is going through all its own wave. And the way it's going to jump after the bottom has been created is also different uh, from one to another. So you want to pay attention for that. First of all, gold is here. We want to look at what the, I'm looking for gold in a larger time frame analysis. Uh, let's have a look at a weekly time frame. Let's see if we can capture all the waves. First of all, as you guys can see that I'm considering this whole price movement that we had wave 1 created, completed, then this hole was wave 2 right over here, the bottom was created wave 2, we have wave 3 completed and wave 4, and right now we are going through wave 5, and this cycle wave 5 is expected to last another 8 to 10 years. Within that cycle wave, we are going through the primary wave 1, and within the primary wave 1, uh, after that is complete, we'll complete a wave 2 of primary and wave 3 of primary, wave 4 of primary and wave uh, 5 of primary right over here in front of you guys. That will be completing the fi the 5 wave cycle uh, degree wave and after that we are to expect some major major correction. But for now we are still going on in the bullish run uh, that actually started way back in 2016. We have completed wave 1 and 2 and wave 3 and 4 of primary degree or not primary degree, uh, yeah, primary degree. So let's have a look, give me a moment. I'm forgetting cycling, cycle and intermediate degree. My apologies. So we have completed wave one, two, three and four of intermediate degree within wave one, which is of primary degree. So within wave one, we have completed one, two, three, and right now we are going through wave four. After that, we'll complete wave five. We'll see some correction and we'll talk more about it. Let's have a look at dive and see what's happening on a daily time frame so we can actually pay some attention and try to benefit it on a smaller time frame here's what i believe is going on we are completing a wave 4 in which we have wave a completed wave b completed and wave c i believe is still going on within wave c we can see that we have completed uh, i would say wave 1 right over here wave 2 right over here and I, i'm considering this whole wave as wave 3 and right now we are going through wave 4 and i'm expecting wave 4 to be completed by the mid or end of the next week. So for next week, I'm bullish on gold and silver, both of them. And then after that is complete, I'm expecting a huge swing downwards, uh, which is expected to be finishing bottom somewhere an, around the middle of September, the end of September, I would say the end of September and the earlier part of the 
uh, October. So we're going to expect some, somewhere around end of September and the earlier portion of uh, October. We expected to see a bottom right over here. But this bottom is very, very important. And we are going to, you'll see what I mean very important. And after that, I'm expecting, and uh, this is, this behavior is, I'm expecting that we'll see a V-shape recovery. All right, so we can say that we will see probably uh, something like this in gold right over here. So we'll have taken some time and I'm expecting we'll take shorter amount of time to complete this period as compared to the drop that we have seen right over here. So once again, I'm expecting that the amount of time that we have taken from B to C will be larger as compared to the uh, the one we are gonna see in the initial push that, the initial push that will take the prices way beyond to almost a uh, triple top right over here is going to be this time period is going to be way less as compared to this one so this one will be larger as compared to this one uh, this analysis that I think is from WD GAN analysis so uh, let's have a look on a, on a daily uh, hourly time frame and if you can actually find out some uh, pattern alright so I'm expecting right now uh, that this behavior that actually started right from over here is still going on. We have not seen uh, anything. There is still a possibility that we can actually see a pullback down over here. Okay, there's a possibility that we can see a pullback and then go up. Right now, uh, the first of all, I'm considering that we have completed probably a 5F structure right over here, some sort of correction, and another 5F structure. And there is also possibility that the correction did not complete right over here and the correction is still going on. So both things are possible. That's why we need to understand that 1754 as an important support right over here. Let me bring that arrow. If I can find that arrow, where is that arrow? This is much better, yeah. So I'm expecting that this area is an important support and I'm bullish on it uh, for next week and I'm expecting for the prices to push a little earlier somewhere around 1850 I would say in that range and then we should see decline so next week is bullish for gold and I already instead started you guys what I'm expecting so some of you guys who are actually uh, traded in gold and silver have bought someone around you're gonna get another chance right over here do not worry if you have not sold uh, your uh, gold and silver it's gonna come back above and it's gonna actually help you with that as far as inflation is concerned, we're definitely going to see a higher inflation in the uh, future. And that's where gold is expected to create a sharper, sharper move right over here. Right now, since we are going through the structure, that structure needs to be completed. And then we'll see a sharper price movement upward in gold. Let's have a look at silver, what we are seeing in silver. Uh, first of all, there's a, a region of silver on a larger time frame analysis. So here's that I'm seeing, seeing, uh, seeing in silver right now that we have completed a W and an X and Y. So I believe that Y is still going on. We have not completed the correction right over here. I'm expecting a bearish move, a strong bearish move right over here. When gold drops, I'm expecting that silver will also drop, creating probably a double bottom with this one right over here. Or if you want to consider, you can consider it as a triple bottom right over here. However you want to label it, I'm, st I'm clearly bearish on, on silver. Uh, we can clearly sell uh, from the trend as well that actually started from over here. For that, we need to look on the daily time frame. So as you guys can see, we have a clear high right over here. And after that, we have been creating a lower high, a lower high, a lower high, and then for further down. So we have created a new low, even a new low, a lower low, as you guys can say, a low, a lower low, a lower low, and then we are expected to see a lower low right over here too. Next week is expected to be bullish right over here for silver and I'm expecting that you will see prices drops significantly downward. And I'm expecting that this is going to be an excellent buying opportunity. Within silver I'm expecting that when silver actually reaches in this area, I'm expecting a sharper bone, uh, a sharper reversal in silver right over here, something like this. And once again, the time period that it took from right over here to over here is going to be more as compared to the time that it will take to do the jump. So I'm expecting something of this uh, behavior within silver right over here. So the whole reason is because silver is way in an oversold territory, even uh, in the inflation is running high, but still we need to complete the pattern that is going on. And once that pattern is complete, 
or you can say the trend that actually is going on within the uh, trader community that everybody seems to be selling or at least the big banks are selling whenever that trend is complete we are going to see a sharper reversal from the buyers a lot of buyers are going to come in right over here and you're going to see sharp stronger price movement something like similar to this one right over here so so it's going to be very interesting to wait for gold and silver and make sharper reversals right over here this is gdx in front of here it's going to give us a summary of how i think there are 20 probably probably 20 miners involved in the gdx etf uh, all of the miners that are involved i think all of them are actually also mining silver or silver is at least coming as a byproduct of gold mining so we can see that uh, this uh, gdx has fallen quite far from 45 to 30 right over here uh, 26 right over here right now it's trading around 29 and i'm expecting that next week we're going to be a little bullish and then we are going to see sharper price movement drop in somewhere around 17 18 dollar or it can go further down a bit even as well so i won't be surprised if you can actually push uh, gdx even lower to ten dollars all right for now our target is going to be eighteen dollars but i won't be surprised if can i prices can push right over here reason because whenever the commodities go down gold and silver then the miners actually crash through evident from the recent uh, drop that we have seen so uh, what happens after that i'm expecting that uh, gdx itself whenever we create the wherever we create the bottom wherever uh, we create the bottom either over here or over here by that i means either whether the bottom will be created over here or over here wherever it creates i'm expecting a sharper reversal in gdx as a whole okay and that comes majorly because most of the stocks are going to the miners are going to sh jump sharply up uh, and that's because the high demand is expected to come in this region right over here let's have a look at newmon corporation newmon is going to behave interestingly and uh, metella uh, if you guys are interested in metella do see metella metella's analysis is a little bit different before we actually can go on and discuss on the daily time frame of uh, new month we need to see the weekly time frame I have uh, labeled some weekly analysis and if you guys are interested in it you can definitely pay attention to it otherwise it is not if you guys are not interested then definitely of course doesn't make sense so I'm considering this whole price movement starting from 1987 uh, right over here as a W and this whole price movement as X so I'm considering this as an A B C as a W and then A B and C as Y and then A B C as uh, w x and y sorry this one is going to be x w x and y within y we are going through an a uh, a is complete base complete b created a new high beyond uh, the starting point of a giving us an indication that as soon as the pattern is complete we are going to see a stronger reversal in uh, in new month so that reversal that i'm talking about that reversal is expected to take is going to be even stronger uh, in new mount even as compared to gold is even as compared to gdx i wouldn't say gold i would say gdx in general so for the bottom is to be created somewhere around this region it can push a little further once prices actually start falling down we'll have a better idea where we can look for a bottom but at least is expected to go in this region which is 25 dollars on a smaller time frame we have to look at the daily time frame see what lay waves are we seeing and this uh, new month the way new month has been dropping is uh, giving me confidence in the bearish outlook of gold and silver both all right so you guys can definitely see a extremely a bullish uh, i mean an impulsive drop from the top right over here so one two three four next week is going to be a little bullish for it and, and i'm expecting that we're going to see a stone fall uh, behavior from the stock itself after the next week we're going to expect it to see a bottom once again uh, in by the end of september or earlier part of uh, october we expected to see this bottom and then a sharper a sharper uh, price behavior reversal is expected within new mount i'm expecting that if it goes whether it creates a bottom over here or over here in both area whenever it creates a bottom we able to decide that and from that bottom a reversal like this behavior is expected in new mount corporation it is going to be a very stunning uh, price increase for example the one that we have seen right over here so within weeks time period we have seen that prices jumped from 33 to all the way at 68 
So even stronger behavior is expected that Newmont is going to be oversold in oversold territory. Large banks are it seems are selling and they have an interest on the short side and they're net short. That's what I think we are seeing right now in Newmont. Let's have a look at Metalla. Metalla has its own uh, I would say that it's going through its own labeling. The, I'm not expecting the strength that we are seeing in Newmont to continue in Metalla. <coughs> you have heard me right. So I'm not expecting even though some uh, definitely will see some strength because Metalla is going to create high. But once it jumps over right over here, I'm expecting that probably it will stay jump halfway. I'm still bearish on Metalla as long uh, because we are bearish on New Moon and Gold as well. So for next week, let's have a look in this way. For next week, I'm expecting that this pattern that actually started from over here will actually continue on. We are going to see prices fall down somewhere in, uh, I would say, I around this territory. Next week is going to be bullish and then will turn bearish. And after that, I'm expecting that the turn that we're going to see is giving an indication that probably we shall actually slow down our interest in Metalla. All right. So I'm expecting that a lot of strength is going to be expected somewhere around $8. Uh, this is going to be our target and we'll see some correction and then we'll follow on from over here. So from $2 to $8 is not bad. It is going to give us, uh, you know, four times the, the profit and see still the same behavior. Uh, th the expansion that we have seen, I think that we'll have to wait uh, for some strength like right over here that we have seen right in Metalla. So it's a similar behavior. We're expecting uh, at least the direction of the trend is similar. Next week is expected to be bullish and then we are expecting to see a large drop uh, which will create a bottom somewhere around the l around the end of September or around the earlier part of October and then we'll see price moving going upward. Just for my own notes. Reach and pressure uh, metals is an interesting one. Let's have a look if you can actually find some labeling on a weekly time frame. Auto. Okay. Not that much labeling. For right now, we are going through wave A is complete, wave B is complete, and wave C is going on. Within wave B, we have a triangle right over here, which will be visible on a daily time frame. Right over here. So we can consider this as an easily a triangle. We have an A, a B as a triangle, and then C. And we have wave A right over here, wave B, and then wave C is going on. Within wave C, we have completed wave 1 and 2, 3, and 4 is still going on. The next week is expected to be bullish on wheat and precious metals, and then the price is expected to be right over here. Wheat and precious metal is going to be once that uh, the drop is complete, and then we are expected to see stronger price behavior we are going to be closer to the uh, the historical highs that we have seen in wheat and precious metals so we are expecting to see some behavior like this one from wheat and precious metals once this one is complete we'll create the top around this one uh, some minor correction and then we'll carry on from over here so i'm as you guys can see i'm extremely bullish on a on a yearly cycle degree uh, time frame next two three months are extremely going to be bearish and it's going to provide an excellent buying opportunity uh, for people who are interested in gold and silver and miners as well. Wish you good luck with your trading. If you uh, want to comment, then uh, please go ahead. Uh, I would try to answer every single comment. Thanks again for your interest. Have a good one and bye-bye.